when I attended the conference, I realized there was a point in there which spoke about obedience. So, obedience and submission. I, take, I took a message from this part that when, when I was appointed as a delegation head, I needed to be obedient to my titos and be submissive to what he needed me to do. Okay, after the conference, uh, I took a lot back from the conference because it impacted a big time in my life. The, with soon after that, we had a CLS, and I was the team lead again. So that means I I cannot be a person who is late at things. I I cannot be a person to be lethargic about praying if need be. I have to lead people. I have to inspire people. So, okay, now it came to a point where in certain times my teams had some other difficulties. So, sometimes I, I had to do s part of their work and not for one minute did I think that I had to do their job. Rather, I, I felt like if, if I'm called to sacrifice, then I don't think it makes a big deal for me to sacrifice in, in a way wherein that of small work is a burden to me. I felt like, okay, I need to do it because I said yes to God's mission. So it might be even the smallest thing that my brother cannot do, so I am there to do, do his part. Then came, also we, we, we spoke a lot about uh, getting into intercession. Intercession started off like big time in Santa Cruz, like we were like 20 people, 15 people, like every every Friday we used to have. And then when we made a decision for the CLS, we, we made it double. We made it twice a week, early morning, 6 a.m., 6 a.m. to 7, and two Wednesdays and Fridays. So we, we, en we went for quite some time. And then slowly as winter came by, people started dropping out, this cold, that, that, that. that. But, you know, uh, the, the thing that I, I got from it, I'd ask God, even if it means to sacrifice that extra time, I will. It came to a point wherein in Santa Cruz, there was no one interceding except me all alone. And uh, I, would, I would just message to the group, anyone awake for intercessions, no reply. So I would, I would say, okay, I think I have to do double on my part. So I, I will do, even if it, I could have easily gone to sleep. But I said, no, I, I need to be, uh, give it as a sacrifice. So, making a lot of sacrifices and also it, l it led me to be, Im the important thing about him, like when you love God, you have to be faithful to Him. So, even if it meant that no one is coming and I'm there, I, I, I knew that I have to be faithful because I, I, I'm saying to God, I, I love you. So, I have to be faithful to just be there. And the fruits of all these sacrifices is one is mm, just the other day I, I was saying to God, God, I think I need extra time to pray. And I normally doze by 11, 11.30. And I'm like, how do I wake? The very next morning, I wake up with a bad dream, but I wake up at 4 o'clock. And after that, my, in, in fact, even my mom, she's like, what happened? You were crying in your dream. I'm like, was I? <laughs> so, but yeah, then soon I realized it was God waking me up. It happened continuous now for the past two weeks. I have been just waking up and I can, I don't need an alarm. I can just uh, wake up because God wakes me up. And uh, also at times in, in, uh, you, like someone needs to be there. Like recently I had a friend, uh, uh, someone was a relative in the hospital, just asked if I could volunteer to stay up for the night. I and my brother, one of my brothers, we just stayed up for the night. We prayed for that person. It was amazing. We just didn't feel sleepy. We just had a one-to-one -one and we were like all the night uh, going on and on. And yeah. And also, another grace I received was um, during all this time, I, I'm filled with so much of zeal for working for God that I realize it's, it's time I give time back to God. When I don't want to be a missionary when I'm after retired and when my, like how they say, save the best for the last. I think save the best when I have the full energy. 
So I said, God, I'm willing to go for missions and I've been invited for mission. So also I've been able to make, uh, receive graces with regards to my personal holiness, give, a, give away a lot of my weaknesses and my sinful life. So basically this conference to sum it up has been a big blessing to me because now, now I don't feel sacrifice like a burden. It's just like, it's a part of me because Christ used to give an early morning of his time for God. So I feel I'm compelled to do it. And if I love it, I have to be faithful to do it. Yeah, that's about it.